Hello, my dear friends, and thank you so very much for stopping by. Thank you for watching my channel, Ivan Atero. So this is weekly love and career reading for zodiac sign Taurus for both men and women all over the world. November 12th, 12th until November 18th, 2018. So, my dear Torians, let's get started and let's try to see together what you can expect. Let me start with this tarot card, the very first one, because this tarot card describes you. Okay, not bad, Queen of Wands. So who is in tarot? Queen of Wands. Because in the next seven days, you will act like one, or maybe other people probably will perceive you to be as a Queen of Wands. So let me explain, guys, you know, especially probably uh, the opposite gender, how will look at you. First of all, Queen of Wands is determined woman, but of course could be a very de determined Taurus man. Now, Queen of Wands is warm woman, you know, having a lot of warmth for other people inside of you. And probably other people will say that to you. You are so warm. You can understand, you know, the way you know how I feel, including probably your friends, not only your lovers. To tell you the truth, you are unstoppable. You know exactly where you want to be and with whom. Probably in your career, but I will talk about it a little bit later, you are very determined with your uh, goals when it comes to your job. But this is uh, at the beginning of terror reading. Okay, now, some of you will be even assertive, fighting for what you want. Some of you will fight for your current partner. Mm. Leo, Sage or an Aries could be, you know, uh, interested into you, but, you know, some of your partners could be like, you know, too much, you know, for you. So, in love relationship, you know, uh, basically, you know, one person tends to be a master. Well, in the next seven days, I think probably this will be you. Now, we have Major Arcana the Moon. Hmm. What, generally speaking, Major Arcana the Moon is all about? First of all, this is illusion. Could be a danger on a horizon. And especially if you are, maybe some of you, in a relationship, you know, with someone who simply does not want to commit to you. But you are very determined, you know. So you ain't gonna take this type of person because you do not want to stay, at, I mean, not for a long time, with someone who basically is using you, you know. So Major Arcana, uh, the moon is about hoping, always hoping that this person will change, you know, the way how this person is, you know, acting or reacting on you. But sometimes this could be hoping, you know, in vain. You are long, you really long, how should I say, longing or long, okay, never mind, for someone. And probably there is a Pisces in your life who have so many sleepless nights um, in his life because of you. So, uh, Taurus uh, women, you feel very good in your skin. You know your worth. And you don't have a problem, especially not with people who try to use you, you know. So, uh, okay, uh, what basically I want to say, uh, you need to confront, I mean, what, what I'm saying goes only for Torians, which are rather uh, tend to believe, like, you know, everybody, everything, only like very young uh, uh, Tauruses, you know, out there. But if you're a little bit, you know, older, then you know that not all people out there uh, are saying, you know, the truth. So Major Arcana, the moon basically is saying, you know, that maybe there is still, still someone in your life, someone who simply does not saying the complete truth to you. Now, Nine of Cups, especially next to Ace of Swords, is saying you have so many reasons to be happy. I think that you will simply use this sword and you will cut off 
once and for all this person who basically is playing at least a little bit with you so this is a person who is kind of um, um, often in your presence but this person cannot commit to you and I think that you will cut this person I mean uh, for uh, basically you know uh, for all this person then will start uh, calling you you know saying oh you can't do that I long for you you know I dream about you but you feel rather very good in your skin you know uh, only because of this ace of swords which basically is uh, communicating new communication not only with other people but this is communication with you with you as well also this is you clearing the mist this is guys the mist of someone who basically is you know uh, probably probably someone who either lies to you or this person does not want to commit to you major kind of the magician okay major kind of the magician this is some magical circumstances but also this could be illusion of some kind in your case i don't think that this is illusion could be sometimes you know but probably not always so i think this is you talking speaking with the current or with new completely love partner about what you are gone through saying you know don't play with me because you know i have enough of this mist and you know fog from you know weird type of people now I know my value and you know simply don't uh, don't pull a wool over my eyes major kind of the magician oh I mean this person will understand you to the fullest you know saying you know okay you do not need you know to worry you know about me because you know I've been there this person also been there a couple of times and I, I don't don't think that this person basically will will play uh, with you. So major kind of the world basically is saying what this is worldly success. This is traveling, meeting online, meeting a foreigner also could be meeting someone or maybe already been in a relationship with someone who basically is publicly known. This is someone who work on a TV radio maybe someone who is known on internet mm, i don't know whatever could be could be celebrity could be like famous scientist uh, could be like uh, an anchor whatever you know so basically this person use a charm and face and you know hands and attitude obviously this person also know how to seduce you but let me say something about major kind of the world this is opportunity at your hand. Are you going to reach for this opportunity or not? Guys, everything depends on you. Because this is your queen of pentacles. Female or male? Taurus. Guys, this is you. So you have the power. If you're willing, if you're ready, you know, uh, to be with this type of a person, then be it. Because those tarot cards basically saying you will have opportunity to change your life, you will have opportunity probably to travel, uh, you will meet, maybe this is like, uh, you know, someone who work also in a theater, you know, but also could be extremely powerful businessman. Whatever you want, whatever you need, obviously is coming your way. Because the final tarot card, this is you. Which is extremely uh, good long-term security this is what you want but also some of you are unable to forget probably this person you know but you must find strength inside of you you must find strength inside of you to forget about this fog because this is that kind of illusion and this illusion change at least a little something in your life if you want to be happier than you are don't hesitate this 
tarot cards is saying don't hesitate because happiness is now at the reach of your hand someone probably this person will try to talk you in don't hesitate you have nothing to lose with me and only then you will feel uh, you know strength and courage to say yes and I think you are going to love 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 this week this person and you now this person could be Libra could be Gemini could be Leo could be Sag especially could be a Scorpio one for some of you maybe even Virgo or Capricorn now this is it for Torians who still want to know something about your ex or partner, stay tuned because you can hear me shuffling. Now let me see, is your ex still in love with you? Or maybe not. Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Wands and Major Arcana the Hermit. Wow. Okay, so we have the Hermit no a mode. We have Eight of Wands and Nine of Pentacles, okay? So, um, your ex, more or less, is the same person. You know, the same, the same. So, uh, some of you still expect the call. And I think that call might come. But probably not in the next seven days. More like month or so. Because you need... A time to think and your ex still need the time to think so this could be someone with whom you broken relationship like two weeks ago two months ago nine months ago maybe even a year so nine of pentacles you know saying you can't believe that you are not related with this person anymore even now maybe you do not know what happened and why to tell you the truth you are much uh, more in a stable position than your ex. I think that your ex-love partner still is seeking for a truth, for a closure even, you know. So basically this is you and this is your ex. What is in between the two of you? Eight of Wands. And Eight of Wands is that card of sweet cha swift change. Well, I said sweet change. But I thought swift, you know, like a very fast type of a change. This is the arrow card of action. Also, this is the arrow card of a phone call or confirmation, you know, on Skype. Because, you know, this is generally speaking, you know, a communication with person of your desire. So if you still want, probably this person is Virgo or Capricorn. Uh, Leo or Sage. So if you can find this story resonated, then probably your ex will think of you. Also for some of you, your ex simply can't forget or forgive to you something. Maybe you left your ex love partner, you know, and he can feel that you are not uh, happy being single or being happy with your current partner, but he is afraid to call you once again now you can hear me my tarot cards my deck i am shuffling again let me see guys what you can expect in your business job work money situation okay what i have for you judgment awakening okay but this is not bad tarot card okay so awakening generally speaking simply saying you know be awake you know stay awake you know obviously Something is uh, changing, shifting. This is also a result of what happened in previous, at least like two, three months. Now this is you getting a result, an outcome. Also, this is the card of reflecting what you want to do. You can feel that uh, from 2019, obviously you will change uh, niche or maybe your job or maybe your company. Maybe already you have you know, some rumors something is changing uh, this is also time for you to wake up and also to fulfill your deepest dreams and desires so ask yourself 
Do you know for new solution? Do you do you want even to change something in your current uh, position in your current work situation? If the answer is yes, be ready because in only two months, you know, from now, uh, hard work is in front of you. You will gain successful accomplishments uh, throughout your daily work. So, uh, but first of all, you need to know what you want to do and where above all you see yourself. Judgment that cards is saying everything depends on your judgment. So judge even yourself. If you are lazy, then don't be surprised if you don't have enough of money. But if you work diligently, especially with this Nine of Pentacles and Major kind of Judgment, now this is you even asking for more money. So basically, Judgment Tarot card is like a Karma Tarot card, you know. So um, you will get, you know, uh, what you, what you, how, how to say it in English. You will get exactly, uh, you know, what you deserve. So if you know that you deserve more, you even can ask for more. But if you were like a lazy, then probably the answer is no. Okay, guys, this is your weekly reading. If you want to talk with me, book a private reading. I'm waiting. Please make sure to subscribe on my channel, like and share this video with your friends. God bless you all.